Alright, hey there guys, it's me Samantha from SS Twins. Today I'm doing something a little different, you can probably tell from the title that it's a little funky. I'm doing an acrylic piece, which maybe is not like an art challenge, but it is for me. Technically this is the one color challenge, because I'm just using one color and also doing it all in blue. The care for a little introduction, and I have the sketch of it on the left, is Lax Welt from Serpent End. Um, I'm going to be painting this with these makeup brushes that I bought that you saw in the Wish video. Um, we have the blue and the white. I thought I might use black, but I didn't. So this is Lacus Welt, but he is in the canon of my fan fiction, which I am writing about him, which you should read if you want. Um, it's on Archive of Our Own. It's called A Twist of Fate. Anyways, he's wearing kimono. He's also crying in this photo. It's like an artsy photo. My concept for the piece would be like shades of blue. That's what I would call it. That was my goal. Even though his main color feature is like he has very like purple hair. Also, he's a vampire, but I am not like the best at acrylics and at college I don't have that many acrylic supplies. I have a lot more at home because I have a box of acrylics because my mom used to like acrylics a lot. But at college, I have like a deep burgundy red, and then a large thing of blue, a large thing of red, a little thing of white, a little thing of gray, and a little thing of black. So I, I even though I could have like mixed a purple, I decided not to, and I decided just to go for blue because I thought it would be very pretty, plus I had a lot of blue, so just in case it messed up horribly, but I didn't even end up using that much of it. It's very soothing to watch doing acrylics, but it's very tricky doing acrylics. Um, this is like the ways that acrylics are different from watercolors. So when you put down a watercolor, you decide you don't like it, you put on more water, you lift it up. Acrylics. The instant you put the color down, it's like it's down and it won't leave. So with some things, like his bangs, I had to keep sort of changing the shape. This also happens with his eyebrows in a minute. Where I'm like, oh no, it didn't quite go down the way I had hoped, and now I'm just gonna have to keep adding more. But you can, with acrylics, layer like a light color over a dark color and cover it up pretty reasonably well. Especially if you had a higher quality acrylic than I do. Mine's like not the best. I also forgot to color his ears when I did this. So his skin, which you probably tell his skin is colored, but it's blue, trust me. But I always forget to do the ears. This is sort of where I go off screen a little bit for a long time, and I'm so sorry, I... I need to turn the paper a lot when I'm doing acrylic work, and then it really messed me up. But those are like little cherry blossoms on his kimono, but like, they're blue blossoms. I like, what I really like about acrylics is the way you have to mix the colors. Oh, here I am, it looks like I'm using a pencil, but really I'm just dipping the pencil in the acrylic and then putting it down to get a thin line because I don't have like very many paint brushes. Also, you'll notice I'm not using the makeup brushes after all because I'm a liar and I felt more comfortable using an actual paint brush even though I only own like three paint brushes because the mostly I do watercolors and use my water brushes, but I'm trying to get better at the acrylics. I think it's a really interesting way to paint and it makes really cool effects and I want to get good so I can like paint on canvases. I've done a few canvas paintings in the past but nothing like that I'd say is really good. I have this acrylic painting. I did another acrylic painting for a friend. Both of these are on like mixed media sketchbook paper. You're wondering why do his eyes look like blue demon eyes? They're like eyelids. It'll become clear later. Also I was having difficulty remembering which color I used where, and so the shadows kind of got dark, and then I have to go in and lighten them. I spend the majority of this video fixing my mistakes. <laughs> but I guess that's part of the learning process. The tears kind of got, like, a little muddled. I originally had them, like, in his eyes, at the pooling of the corner of his eyes, one down his face, some that like gather along the bottom of your face like you know if you're like crying and like tears are falling they're like sliding down your like chin but those kind of definitely vanished I guess maybe because it was all blue and then I had a couple that were like in the air that were like teardrops that were falling but then I go in and I do stuff with the background and then those really the background kind of supposed to look like wind is going one of the things is I think the few times I used the makeup brush I feel like some of the color on the makeup brushes was like coming off onto the like paper and making it like a reddish blue color. I don't know if that's like quite what happened, but all the makeup brushes have like a little bit of 
brown at the tips. And I noticed like I was getting brown mixed in. It was really weird. This is a fine liner from Marteza that my sister bought me that I'm using to go over some details on the face that I just could not do in acrylics that I think were important. Then I try and do some funky stuff to make his kimono look a little bit more interesting. This is like my second acrylic piece ever, so I know it's not perfect and it was a lot of experimenting. Then I wanted to cut it out and make it into like a like a fun shape. That way it's not just in my in my sketchbook forever. Couldn't quite decide the size I wanted. I thought a square and then I thought a smaller square and then I was like, I'll round the corners. So then I go and I round all the corners off. There he is! And always there's things you forget. Here's the finished piece. Um, I'm putting it next to the sketch that I drew. I drew a lot of sketches for this one so I didn't really know what I wanted to do for it, but finally decided on this concept. I think it's really pretty. I'm not the best at acrylics and I'm not the best at shading, but I think, I don't know, I thought it was fun. I just thought it was enjoyable. It's kind of, it's soothing. It's like therapeutic. And it's kind of nice to know that once you put a color down, it's just going to like stay there. So you have to be a little bit more intentional. And also trying to get thin lines with my small variety of available paintbrushes. Let me know if you guys want to see some like one color type things in the future again. I really like this one. I would definitely do like one color or like one like range of a color again. Um, like, comment, subscribe, read my fan fiction. Haha, <laughs> you don't need to have watched the show he's from, Sarah for the End. You don't have to have watched it. You just need to know he's like a vampire. And I'll see you guys next week for more art. Maybe not quite this good, but you know, I always put in 100%. So I'll see you guys next time. Bye.